What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. Everything is just getting saggy. Melvin! Whatever. How do you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. A take whatever you... That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? There's the necessary magnification. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Shoot you in the behind. Hurry up, will ya? Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him! There's one, and there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets 
out. I'll get to him. Quick! He's about to raise the alarm! Take him out! Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. And they all came tumbling down. You're in my crosshairs again! And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I can't! There's someone coming out of that building! I can hear him at that far door. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. There's another guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. I'm not fixing it. Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And whatever you do, don't hit the tank. Please, man. I think someone's coming. Shit. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! I've always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. <laughs> Pose 
there's room for a passenger. In the van! Look out! I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. I'll do my best to oblige you. He's still there! Seat of these guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Oh, there he goes. Finally, I feel safe. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or? Or other neighbors. Those in the south are Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Someone's out there and wants us to know it. You think it's the buyer? It better be. Drop your load. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut 
to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Oh. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town can sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. 
Yeah, that's it. Get Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. Uh, you. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. We'll be there in no time if we drive. Here we are. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Just for the hell of it. What? Go for the tires, not the car. Jesus! When in doubt, take him out. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. Man, yeah, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Seem. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Yeah. 
Gotta line them up good. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me. Fang Sung Sha. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! You fuck you fuck you Trevor it's business that wide-eyed idiot was mine it's business fella you want to discuss it 
We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, hey, brothers, you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Fucking Trevor fucking Philip. <laughs> fucking yard is fucking blight. I'm coming. Tear Evers here to kill ya. We're on. to me. Shit! Come. Keep him upstairs! Come on! You get out this property! Oh, shit! He's down here! Don't you come any... Gas in a meth lab! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots! Smell that! I'm gonna burn it to the ground! Fumes, yeah, you've only yourselves to blame. Burn, you disrespectful pricks! 